12. They're off. A race away then, five quality steeplechases here, over three miles for this year's running of the Betfair Denman Chase. 18 fences to jump, the grey Eldorado Allen and the black and white colours of Imperial Aura with the Peru touchdown in first and second places at number one. Light green sleeves of Clan de Zerbo is close to them as they quickly come to fence number two. Will be a couple of lengths behind those two in pink colours, Royal Pagai and De Rasha Counter. The red and white stripes with the blue sleeves and blue cap is fractionally behind him. They're in fourth and fifth places. So they turn left-handed for the first time. On towards fence number three, the grey Eldorado Allen stepping up in trip today for him. Brendan Powell leads by about a length. Black and white jacket of Imperial Aura. David Bass running in second as they move down the side of the course now on towards fence number three. Not much between those two leaders. About two lengths behind them is Clan de Zerbo, who's already the winner of the Best Turned Out Award for this race and a previous winner of this race. Uh, won it back in 2019. I was runner-up 12 months ago. De Rasha counter, the red and white stripes. Big victory of his career uh, was on this course. And he's moved up one position. He's the outsider today, but a 33's chance, running in fourth place as they come to the first of the fences in the straight. And the back marker there, pink jacket of Royal Pagai, comes here after a victory in one of Haydock's feature steeplechases last month. Down towards the first of the open ditches then, fence number five. And... All clear it well. On the right, the grey horse, El Dorado Allen, uh, leads on now towards number six. The noseband of Imperial Aura on the left is in second place with Clan de Zobo, like green sleeves. He's already won £884,000, Clan de Zobo, so well on his way to the million pound mark. Uh, then comes Royal Pagai in the pink and a Rasha counter who's nearest to us. There's not much between those in fourth and fifth places. They have the water jump coming up now. They'll take it only once on the way round. And a lead of less than a length for El Dorado Allen as Imperial Aura in the black colours gets closer to him as they touch down over the water. Just a length off those two, Clan de Zobo. And then there would be two, maybe three at most lengths to Royal Pagai in pink and the red and white stripes of De Rasha counter Tom Bellamy. Last of the quintet, but they are well bunched as they head away to the far side then. Uh, this time in the back straight, five fences to take. Fence number nine overall will be the next one they get to. Yellow colours of El Dorado, Alan Brendan Powell continue to be out in front. Uh, from David Bass on Imperial Aura in the black in second, although he's a little bit slow over that as they approach another open ditch. Harry Cobden in two greens and white on Clan de Zerbo, level with him now in uh, third position as they get over this open ditch. Pink jacket then of Royal Pagai and Charlie Deutsch and a length and a half behind him, Tom Bellamy on De Rasha counter. Middle fence in the back straight coming up, number 11 of the 18. El Dorado Allen still bowls along in front here to Imperial Aura, the black colours in second. They've now completed a circuit. Clan de Zobo, a couple of lengths behind those showing in third position. And then comes Royal Pagai, who's a little bit low at that, and Arasha counters with him. So one fence in the back straight to take now, and six to in total. And the nose-banded Imperial Aura has come through to take it up. Goes on narrowly to El Dorado Allen, yellow colours in second, the grey horse. There's about a length and a half only behind them to Clan de Zobo, Royal Pagai in the pink, and on the left there is De Rasha Counter. So five good chasers, all five have a chance here as they leave the back straight and begin to run to home for this Betfair Denman. And it's Imperial Aura. He's narrowly in front, be a half, maybe three parts a length in front. El Dorado Allen in second. Clan de Zobo, the favourite, on the heels of them. About a further half length behind in third place. Five from the finish coming up. De Rasha counter moving through into fourth position, although it was a little clumsy up on the outside of Royal Pagai. They're turning now towards the home straight with four fences to go. Imperial Aura, the black jacket out in front, leading now by over a length. 
El Dorado Allen is in second. Uh, light green sleeves of Clandes Urbo, length and a half of him, showing here in third position. Royal Pagai and Arasha counter either side of him, and both are closing as well. Four fences from the finish. El Dorado Allen back in front there. Uh, Royal Pagai touched down in second. Imperial Order made a mistake, quickly drops to last position. Clandes Urbo is being encouraged along. Arasha counter is there as well. Final open ditch. El Dorado Allen from Royal Pagai has moved through into second position. Imperial Order was pulled up before the third last. Clandes Obo is two, three lengths behind the leaders in third position at the moment as they take two out and then Darasha Kanta. All to play for here. So on the right, El Dorado Allen up in trip today. The pink jacket of Royal Pagai is not far behind him. Clandes Obo two lengths off those. Final flight, offence. El Dorado Allen landed by three lengths. Second position to Royal Pagai. Behind this is Clandes Obo in third place and it's El Dorado Allen staying off on as they race towards the line. Royal Pagai is trying to get to him and is inching closer, but El Dorado Allen has made most here with Brendan Powell to win the Betfair Denman. Royal Pagai in second, Clandes Obo in third, Darasha Counter in fourth. El Dorado Allen has won under this man, Brendan Powell. Well done, lovely round of jumping. Yeah, he was, um, he, he was very good. I mean, you know, it was the first time over this trip, really, and... Uh, you know, the plan was to sort of just get a lead, but he's quite a free going horse, and I thought, do you know what, there's no point fighting him. I'll just ride him as if he stays. And to be fair, I was able to get a breather in as and where I wanted to. Um, and Imperial it took me on down the back, but I just thought I'd just I'd let, try and let him come with it and just ride, ride my lad to run well. And um, I was, I, he, he did pick up for me turning in, and I was, I was, I wouldn't say I was surprised, but I was more pleased that he did the same from the back of two out. Mm. And, uh, you know, if he's going to see the trip out anywhere, it'd be around here. You know, a nice flat track, and um, he's just a lovely horse. Yeah. So, were you confident he'd stay coming into the race? That he'd stay the trip. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you never really know until you try it. But we just thought we'd, we'd ride him as if he did stay it. I suppose this track on that ground out there was the time he was going to do it. Yeah. Look, if, if it was if it was heavy ground, we probably wouldn't have ridden quite the same. Um, but on that ground there today, it was it was worth a punt. Did he just get a bit wayward after the last? He did a little bit, but he, he, they can sometimes just yeah just wander about a little bit, and I just wanted to make sure he sort of kept his mind on the job really. So, um, but he's, he's he, you know he might even improve. You know when horses go over that trip for the first time, they, 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 he might improve again because he's been running over a lot shorter. So, you know I'm not, if, if, if he does, then there'll be another nice race in him somewhere. Cheers, Brendan. Well, Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Colin Tizard is with me. Um, first of all, we, we've just seen a lovely performance from El Dorado. Do you expect something like that today? Well, we were hoping for it. You know, he's had some second in an when wasn't he? Um, held right up and finished strong. The last two or three runs, we thought we are going to we are going to step up soon. And then Joe sort of thought this, is, this will be the race. Flat track, good spring ground. Play to his strengths, really. Um, Lovely front running performance, one that had a breather on the last bend. That yeah, was a perfect ride by, John, uh, by Brandon. Any regret that you didn't put him in a gold cup, or, or is that just too tall an order? Do you think? Well, I just think the gold cup is three miles two, and I, I think it ends up being a, you know, as a native river type, um, you know, Dower Stairs. And I was glad to see the winning post come when it did today. The Royal Pregai was staying on, wasn't he? he never got there, but. Um, on a flat track as well. I, I don't know if they want to go for it. He's not in it anyway, so um, that's probably what our thinking was before today. He's in a Ryanair, but not that. Now, you could have been a broadcaster because that was the most perfect link to Native River, is making his way around the paddock. So, <laughs> so well done. He's the horse walking around. We've got Altior on Native River. He's the horse walking around with a, with a Tamiko rug on. Yeah, uh, he looks fresh, doesn't he? he looks well. Yeah, he's not worried about the fact he thinks he's going to have a race in five minutes <laughs> time, is he? But uh, good old boy. You know, he's... Yeah. You know, he's he won three Demons, didn't he, in a Go Cup? Go Cup is, uh, you know, every, whatever you say, the Go Cup is, for me, is a peak of, of, an, of a jumping horse. Three mile, two round Cheltenham is, and if this one had half a chance, he'd, he'd be in it. But is, 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 that, is, is that the highlight of, pretty much the highlight of your career, that yes, later I'd say, I, Yes, yes, Go Cup. Yeah. No, there's no, um, there's no, 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 no question of it, that's, uh, that's what we strive for.
have a runner and it would be great. And this is a goodbye from your yard, I believe, this week, isn't it? Is, this is where he sort of officially, he's, you're saying goodbye to him this week, aren't you? He's going yes, to yeah, he's going down, yes, I'm going to have Tom Malone. Yeah, we you know, we still got cue card at home and uh, we can't keep them all, can we? No, well, you can't. No. You've got too many good ones, that's the thing. <laughs> oh. We could, I would do a few more, but it's lovely today. This is Outer Allen's day, isn't it? And uh, he showed, you know, he jumped beautifully, slick, wasn't it? And he got away from his fences. It's a good ride. Cheers, Colin. Well Thank you.